मोस्ट वेनरेबल महानायक के थेरोस ऑफ श्रीलंका मोस्ट वेनरेबल संगराजा थेरोस ऑफ श्रीलंका डिस्टिंग्विश रिलीजियस एंड स्पिरिचुअल लीडर्स ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ श्रीलंका एक्सलेंसी मैत्रीपाल श्रीसेना जी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ श्रीलंका एक्सलेंसी रानिल विक्रम सिंघे ऑनरेबल स्पीकर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एक्सलेंसी कारो जयसूर्या जी बोस्ट वेनरेबल डॉक्टर फ्रा ब्रह्म पंडित जी प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ द डे ऑफ वैशाख एस्टीम डेलीगेट्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया एक्सलेंसीज लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन नमस्कार आयु भवन वैशाख इज मोस्ट सेक्रेड ऑफ डेज ए डे for humanity to revere the birth the enlightenment and the parinibbana of lord buddha the tathagat a day to rejoice in buddha a day to reflect on the supreme truth and timeless relevance of dhamma and the four noble chitari arya satchani a day to con contemplate the ten perfections thus parmi of dan jati seal proper conduct nekham renaissance pinya bijdam viri energy khanti tolerance such truthfulness adithan determination metta loving kindness and upekhya equanimity miti it is a day of enormous significance of you here in sri lanka for us in india and for buddhists around the world and i am most grateful to excellency president maithipal sirisena excellency prime minister ranil vikram singh and the people of sri lanka for extending me to me the honor to be the chief guest at the international vesak day festival in colombo on this auspicious occasion i also bring with me the greetings of 1.25 billion people from the land of the samyak sambuddha the pre perfectly self awakened one excellencies and friends our region is blessed to have given to the world the invaluable gift of buddha and his teachings bodh gaya in india where prince sindarth became the buddha is the sacred nucleus of the buddhist universe lord buddha's first sermon in varanasi which i have the honor to represent in the parliament set in motion the wheel of dhamma our key national symbols have taken inspiration from buddhism 
Buddhism and its various trends are deep-seated in our governance, culture, and philosophy. The divine fragrance of Buddhism spread from India to all corners of the globe. Mahindra and Sangmitra, the worthy children of King Ashoka, made their journey from India to Sri Lanka a Dhamma Dutta to spread the biggest gift of Dhamma. And as Buddha had himself said, Sabbadanam Dhamma Danam Janati. It means the gift of Dhamma is the biggest gift of all. Today, Sri Lanka takes pride in being among the most important centers of Buddhist teachings and learning. Centuries later, Anagarika Dharmapala undertook a similar journey, but this time from Sri Lanka to India to revive the spirit of Buddha in the land of its own origin. In some way, you took us back to our own roots. The world also owes a debt of gratitude to Sri Lanka for preserving some of the most important elements of the Buddhist heritage. Vesak is an occasion for us to celebrate this unbroken shared heritage of Buddhism, a heritage that connects our societies across generations and through centuries. Friends, the friendship between India and Sri Lanka was etched in time by the great master. Buddhism imparts an ever-present radiance to our relationship. As close neighbors, our relationship spreads across many layers. It draws its strength as much through our interconnected values of Buddhism as it does from the limitless possibilities of our shared future. Ours is a friendship that lies in the hearts of our people and in the fabric of our societies. To honor and deepen our links of Buddhist heritage, I have the great pleasure to announce that from August in year, in this year, Air India will operate direct flight between Colombo and Varanasi. This will ease travel to the land of Buddha for my brothers and sisters from Sri Lanka and help you directly visit Srivasti, Kushinagar, Sankasa, Koshambi, and Sarnath. And my Tamil brothers and sisters will also be able to visit Varanasi, the land of Kashi Vishwanath. <laughs> Venerable monks, excellencies, and friends, I believe we are a moment of a great opportunity in our ties with Sri Lanka. 
and to, to achieve a quantum jump in our partnership across different fields. And for us, the most relevant benchmark for the success of our friendship is your progress and your success. We are committed to the economic prosperity of our Sri Lankan brothers and sisters. We will continue to invest in driving positive change and economic growth to deepen our development cooperation. Our strength lies in sharing our knowledge capacity and prosperity. In trade and investment, we are already significant partners. We believe that free flow of trade, investment, technology and ideas across our borders will be to our mutual benefit. India's rapid growth can bring dividends of the entire region, especially in Sri Lanka. In infrastructure and connectivity, transport and energy, we are poised to scale, scale up our cooperation. Our development partnership stretches across nearly every sector of human activity, such as agriculture, education, health, resettlement, transport, power, culture, water, shelter, sports, and human resources. Today, India's development cooperation with Sri Lanka amounts to 2.6 billion dollars and its only aim is to support Sri Lanka in realizing a peaceful, prosperous and secure future of its people. Because the economic and social well-being of the people of Sri Lanka is linked with that of 1.25 billion Indians. Because whether it is of the land or in the waters of the Indian Ocean, the security of our societies is indivisible. My conversations with President Sirisena and Prime Minister Vikram Singhe have only reinforced our will to join hands in achieving our common goals. As you make important choices for the harmony and progress of our society, you will find in India a friend and a partner that will support your nation-building endeavors. Wonderful monks, excellencies, and friends. Lord Buddha's message is as relevant in the 21st century as it was two and a half millennia ago. The Madhyam Pratipada the middle path shown by Buddha speaks to all of us. Its universality and evergreen nature are striking. It has been a unifying force among nations. The countries of South, Central, Southeast and East Asia are proud of their Buddhist links traced to the land of Buddha. 
the themes of social justice and sustainable world peace chosen for this vaisak day resonate deeply with buddha's teachings the themes may appear independent but they are both deeply interdependent and interconnected the issue of social justice is linked to conflict within and among countries the arises principally because of tanha or trishna in sanskrit the thirst which in turn stems from greed lobh greed had driven the mankind to dominate and degrade our natural habitat our desire to achieve all our wants has created income inequalities in communities and disturb social harmony similarly the biggest challenge to sustainable world peace today may not be from conflict between the nation states it is from the mindset thought streams and entities and instrument rooted in the idea of hate and violence the menace of terrorism in our region is a clear manifestation of this destructive emotion sadly these ideologies of hate and their proponents in our region are not open to dialogue and hence only open to causing death and destruction i firmly believe that buddhism's message of peace is the answer to growing arc of violence all over the world and not just a negative notion of peace defined by the absence of conflict but a positive peace where we all work to promote dialogue harmony and justice based on karuna compassion and pragya wisdom as buddha said nati santi parana sukham there is no higher bliss than peace on vesak my hope is that india and sri lanka will work together to uphold the ideals of lord buddha and promote values of peace accommodation inclusiveness and compassion in the policies and conduct of our governments this is the true path to free individuals families societies nations and the world at large from the three poisons three poisons hatred and ignorance venerable monks excellencies and friends on this day of vesak let us light the lamps of knowledge to move out of darkness let us look more within and let us uphold nothing else but the truth and dedicate our efforts to follow the path of buddha whose light shines all over the world at the verse 387 of dhammapada sage दिवा तप्ति आदित्यो रतिं ओभाति चंदिमा संदत्तो खत्तियो तप्ति 
जाई तप्ति ब्राह्मणों अथ सबम अहोरति बुद्धो तप्ति तेजसा इट मीन्स द सन साइंस बाय द डे द मून लाइट्स अप द नाइट द वॉरियर साइंस इन हिज आर्मर द ब्राह्मीन साइंस इन हिज मेडिटेशन बट द अवेकन वन साइंस All day and night by this radiance. Thanks, thank you very much. Thank you once again for the honor to be with you. I look forward to paying homage at the Sri Daldam Maligawa, the temple of the sacred tooth relic, in Kandy today afternoon. May the triple gem of Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much.